Had Z people are one of the few hunter gatherers tribe left on earth today. Living northern Tanzania around Lake Ice Valley. They have been living these bushes for thousands of years. They hunt with bow and arrows and collecting barras and fruits. They hunt and eat whatever comes their way, and dogs help them. Hodza men and women walk four to seven miles a day, hunting wild game, uh, harvesting honey, digging for tubers, picking berries, or fetching water and firewood. The Hodza get more activity in a day than the standard American gets in a week. Until 30 years ago, the Hodza frequently hunted large animals like zebra, giraffe, and buffalo. Most large mammals have now decreased in number, leaving them to depend on smaller animals, such as local antelope and birds. Finding food is a daily chore. After hunt for a long time the success in the forest, they got even the biggest wild boar. The Hadzeb way of life has changed very little. For thousands of years these people have been full-time hunter-gatherers and this makes them the last of their kind in Africa. This tribe is not closely linked to any other by language or genetic heritage. Living off the land on a full-time basis is extremely difficult in this day and age. Attempts by various authorities to introduce an alternative way of life have mostly failed and the Hodza continue in the manner of their ancestors, despite land encroachment and mounting pressure from surrounding communities. They source water from a few water holes and other natural means. The tribe consists of a number of bands that move around from place to place according to seasonal changes and the availability of food and water. The Hodza number just over 1,000 people, fewer than 200 of whom adhere to the traditional hunter-gatherer lifestyle, which includes a diet composed mainly of five items, meat, berries, baobab, a fruit, tubers, and honey. While Western diets are pretty much the same throughout the year, the Hodza lifestyle doesn't include refrigerators and supermarkets. They do not store their food and only hunt for what they need on any given day. are allowed to hunt even inside the National Serengeti Park, where any kind of hunting is normally forbidden and illegal, but the Hodza are granted special permits by local authorities. 
Typically, hunting is a solo pursuit or at least two men are involved, except when hunting wild baboons that are the most sought after and favorite prey of the Hodza. Baboon stalking is a group affair conducted only a handful of times each year because they are difficult to capture. The Hodza people are an ethnic group in the central rift valley of Tanzania. They are one of the last populations in Africa who follow a hunter-gatherer lifestyle similar to that followed by humans for 99% of our history. Amazingly, despite occupying the valley for thousands of years, the Hodza people have left very few traces due to their nomadic lifestyle. Let me, let me, let me. 
What I
Sorry, but remember.
But I took you at a table, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a
Condition up here. Yeah. 
Thank you. 